I am very sorry about that. On that last one, there were... Oh, it says... Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm very sorry about that last one. I... I don't know what was going on. I was having a lot of technical difficulties, and I definitely did not give this game its due justice. So, uh, I'm going to give it a try here. This is Wally with Wally Scoops, and this is the video that I will be uploading to YouTube. So, uh, if you just watched that terrible last stream, uh, don't. <laughs> so, it is, uh, just ignore it. Come, wait. I'm glad you're here now. Thank you. This one will give this game justice. Speaking of, this is Wacky Wednesday. This game is not actually, uh, all right. This is, uh, Wacky Wednesday. Um, this game is not actually that wacky. Um, it has a very simple principle. You are working for, uh, you are working for a federation. You have some very valuable cargo. And you're trying to get it to a location. It, uh, but that location is far away. So you have to jump through a couple of sectors. Not a couple. You have to jump through many sectors and then reach your point. Each one of these sectors has little uh, has little galaxies in there that you have to jump through, little points in the sector. And then each one of those will have an obstacle. It could be good or bad. It is randomly generated. So this game is extremely simple concept, but very hard to accomplish. Um, uh, again, like I said, if you watch the other Twitch and now you're here, I'm just repeating the same thing, but I appreciate you guys coming to the video that gives this one justice because I promise this game is so simple and so fun, but I don't know anybody that has beat this game personally without looking up how to beat this game. It is really hard to do, but it is fun even though you fail. So uh, without further ado, I am going to make a couple of announcements here. Uh, one, I want to give a shout out to Catman Taverns, C-A-T-M-I-N-T -T Taverns. Uh, you guys are going to think I don't know how to spell Taverns as much as I don't spell that word. And I'm not going to spell it. You guys think what you want to. Uh, she has told me that she plays a lot of D&D on her Twitch channel. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and give her a follow. She made the logo for my Discord and my YouTube. Oh, uh, second announcement here. Uh, Friday night for me. So in two days starts my vacation. And there will be no uploads for eight days. Well, there will be no Twitch streams for eight days. But I will be trying to upload a video every day on YouTube. Behind the scenes, I will be trying to learn how to edit. Because I have zero editing skills. So that is what I will be trying to do while I am not streaming. But also I have a very long, like, 80-kilometer bike ride that I have planned. Don't ask me how many miles that is. I just know what the maps tell me. And I'm in South Korea, so they use kilometers. So that's how far it is. It's 80 kilometers. If you want to Google it, Google it. Um, uh, so without that, this right here is your opening scene when you open up FTL. That's the game I'm playing. FTL. Uh, super simple. You can find this game on Steam. I have not unlocked anything. This is not, if if you are not familiar with the way games used to work, uh, you have to actually unlock things by doing achievements in the game. And if you have not done those achievements, you will not be able to unlock them. For example, you can unlock new ships, you can unlock uh, new layouts, you can uh, unlock new people, new things to start off with. But um, I have not done that. Uh, so the only thing I can do is rename my ship and rename these people here i don't really care about their names it doesn't matter um again i played on easy but uh you can play on pretty much any mode you want to i played on easy normal and hard i think hard i made it through one sector on normal i made it about halfway and easy i think i made it about halfway as well um but it has been a very long time since i played this game but without further ado we're just going to jump in the game is super fun to play um this just tells you the simple point of the game like rebels are pursuing you so you cannot stay too long in one uh, sector so if you if you jump too much within this sector then you'll start seeing a red map uh, some people call it the storm uh, so if you get caught in the red you lose so we're gonna hit up the distress beacon distress beacons can mean one of two things it can be something good where you can help somebody out and they give you stuff or they trick you and it's a, it's a fighter ship. Either way, we are fine. Uh, yeah, so we will try to dislodge the ship. Um, or you can destroy and loot the ship. But uh, the ones who are... I like dislodging because the uh, main part is you want to try to get people. Uh, pe the more people you have on the ship, the better. So they actually gave us rockets. Uh, the little droid part. That's fine. 
I'll just jump here. I don't really like going back. So it's cool, but technically, you can go any way you want to. Um, it only matters. Ooh, all right. Well. All right. Well, here we go. We're gonna want all shields here, and they have a droid. So if we want to kill the droid, we can knock this out. But I like hitting their weapons here. Then once you get the weapon, you kind of try to destroy the shields. But that droid will do a number on us, so I think that is the next thing I'm going to hit. And then I don't like them getting weapons, so. Oh, it's trying to escape. So you can actually shoot it here if you want to stop it from escaping. You definitely don't want them escaping because then you don't get any of this cool stuff. They escape. Alright, so we actually took no damage there. We have 73. So if you want to, you can start like putting stuff. You know, you can get more power bars, which I think is very important at the beginning of the game. But again, I haven't beat the game, so what the hell do I know? Um, but I do like the power bars, and power bars just let you do more stuff. Um, so, but you don't want to spend too much. So we'll just go here. Here you go, attack him. So, a ship with conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment available for sale. So, with this one, I think we're just going to attack. Like, I don't have enough money to buy the equipment, I can't really do anything. So, um, I think we're just going to attack here, power up all the, all the shields. Oh, heck no. They are trying to go here and destroy our stuff. We're trying to go here and kill them. So if you kind of like double attack them, then that's pretty cool here. Uh, we do have shields fired up, so we will not let them do that again. Try to destroy this. We need to get in here. This, is, this could have been a terrible thing to do. Oh man, we missed them. This is gonna be a rough start. Alright, no, no weapons. Alright, that was rough. Maybe should have just ran away there. That was, that was intense. Let's get these people to the that they need to be on. That was... I may have made a boo-boo there. <laughs> that was wild. Uh, I can't tell you that losing a ship or losing a person on a ship is uh, pretty, pretty rough. Hey, Itchy is here. So the person I gave a shout out to is here. Um, so this is uh, uh, a game. Oh, my stuff is muted. I am sorry. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I have been talking a little loud, but uh, I actually don't like sound on this game. I never use it. Uh, but, hey, Itchy, uh, gave you a shout-out at the beginning, as always. Uh, this is actually my second go at this game because my first one, I had a bunch of technical issues, and uh, there was a lot of stuff going on with my internet, and I don't know what was happening, so... I just kind of scratched that video. You can see it on my Twitch, but I don't recommend it. I did not give this game justice at all. I did not give this game justice. Uh, but I hope that everyone pays attention. So we have Hector here. Uh, we're kind of just going to put Hector. Just put him in the weapons room. That's where I like putting him. So like I said, buying people is very, very important. Uh, I think you can attack the ship and get Hector, but I'm not real sure. Uh, I didn't want to take that chance. Uh, so here we go. This is the rebel fleet that I was talking about, or the storm, quote, unquote. So if you don't start making your way to the exit now, then they will start catching up with you. And if you get caught in that, you die. Yes, I will take that. So each time they get closer and closer, it doesn't really matter about how long you stay, I don't think. It only matters how many times you jump in a sector. 
Uh, yeah, I actually didn't say that at the beginning. Uh, yeah, my nose has stopped up, having a lot of allergies, which is terrible because I have to record so much today. So we will see how it works. So we will attack here and here. And then once that attacks, oh, please attack. We will try to hit here to stop them from attacking us. So we actually cannot jump now with this FTL messed up. There we go. Yeah, it's terrible. I really hope I do, but there we go. We got a healing burst. So we can't jump because our engine control is off. So Hector needs to go help repair engine control. It's Hector. Well, Hector has same, but... You can open up these to get oxygen there, buddy. We'll go ahead and jump. <laughs> yeah, uh, this game is FTL uh, for everyone that's new that's coming in. Your goal is you have a, you have very valuable, um, very valuable equipment for your alliance that you are with, but because um, there's a war going on, but the rebels are chasing you, and you have to go through space to get it there. You're far away, so you have to go through each sector, and then each sector has little galaxy points that you could travel through, and each little galaxy point has like a like a quick text that makes you choose between doing something and it's not really about right or wrong it's just about surviving so um it's a very simple premise but the game is extremely difficult uh like i said at the beginning i don't know anybody that's actually beat this game without looking up how to beat it and that's on any mode on easy medium or hard uh, i'm actually playing on easy right now which normally i don't play on easy on most games uh we do have a lot of we do have a lot of gold here so uh i am going to be trying to just jump into the store, which I believe I passed. So uh, we're going to be getting our power bars up. No. Do what I tell you to do. This power bar up. We have a lot of power bars now. So I think going up into piloting is pretty nice. It allows evasion. And I think that's good. That's all we really want. We definitely want to keep some money here. So we'll jump. Next sector. Both of them are pirate control. But you see this? This is pirate control hostile all the way through. So we like the unidentified civilian sector of this part. So we're going to go here. So here we go. A new Federation friendly planet. Uh, a few fr friendly Federation Planets still exist in this sector, but they are constantly under attack by pirate raids. This is a dangerous sector, so be careful. So, you heard it here. Be careful. Uh, if I go here, I can only jump here and here. But I have the same locations either way. I'm going to go here. So. Yep. We have pirates. Here we go. Pirates. Try to take out their shield or take out their missiles. That's what I want. And they got shields. Shields for days. Wow, they may just wreck us. Let's see if I can't just take out their shield. Wow. Shields doing a big, huh? What's this dude doing? Get over here. Now let's fire here. Why can we not? Ah, power up. Holy moly. I did not name the ship Enterprise, but you can name the ship Enterprise if you would like. Snap, crackle, and pop. 
just need to get in here because we cannot do anything without power. We are dying very quickly to this ship. That may not have been the smart choice here. Oh, we're out of missiles too. We're relying on our burst laser. Not good, not good, not good. I don't think we're ever going to be able to stop their, uh, did they just take out? Oh, you got to be kidding me. They took out my weapons. Oh no, we may not be able to beat this ship. Ooh, that was close. Man, that was close. That's one of those that didn't really, uh, That's one of those that wasn't really great there. Like I didn't, I don't really see a point in uh, like I wish I didn't go there because that was just so much work for like nothing, honestly. So we're just gonna send you here, send you here. And then we'll let the captain do the shields. There we go. Our hole is not looking good right now. I didn't know that that was going to take. I should have paid attention to that. That was terrible. Guess we go here. Could just go here. I like going in these little nebula gases. Uh, what is it saying? Uh, yeah, we need missiles. So that's one of those that's like surviving. You know, he was saying, hey, if you, if you don't jump in, then I'll give you this. So like, sorry, I need money and missiles. So I'm not going to jump in, you know. It's pretty good. I'll dock with the stations. No, Hector. What are you doing? They're killing my stuff and they won't let me in. Just need to keep them outnumbered, but it won't let me in. Like it's, it's not running. Yeah, I think, I think we're dead here. Yeah, we're dead here. It's just me. Yeah, this is it. Only thing I can do is sit here and heal. GG. GG, Cap. Oh, we killed Hector. We may be able to make it. I'm in here healing. It depends on who he attacks. Oh no. No. <laughs> All right, so that's what I was saying. The game is extremely difficult. Like, I made one wrong choice, and then five people jumped in on my ship, and those five people took, or four people jumped on my ship, and they took one of my members. So, 
you know, that's just like, that's just what happens, but it's really, really fun. And this was on easy. So the battles aren't really difficult to figure out. The game is extremely fun. Again, it's called FTL. I'm really sorry I had the uh, music up before because my headphones are off. Uh, I don't really like the music for the game. That's like my only, uh, that's the only thing I don't like about it. But again, if you're just going somewhere, like you don't need internet to play this game. Like you can literally just turn it on without any internet. You can just try to beat it. It's really, really fun. Again, really difficult, but very simple premise. And that's it. Uh, again, as always, you can check her out in chat. Itchy. Uh, her name is Leah. You can find her at Catmint Tavern, C A T M I N T Taverns. Uh, on Twitch, she streams a lot of D&D. She also says she was streaming another game as well. But honestly, Itchy, I'm sorry. Uh, I forgot what the name of the game is. But it's like a two-player puzzle game. And, uh, yeah, I uh, forgot the name of it. So, But anyways, again, just in case you missed it at the very beginning, I will not be... Uh, oh, yeah, It Takes Two. That's the name of the game, It Takes Two. So she is streaming that as well. So if you're into those kind of games, give her a follow on Twitch. She made my logo on Discord and on YouTube. And uh, just a really quick shout out again. Um, uh, oh, yeah, like she said, she streams a lot of other stuff, too. I'm just trying to give I'm just trying to give you guys watching an idea of what she streams. Uh, so D&D and It Takes Two. So those are two very different games. So, but she streams stuff all in the middle of there too. Anyways, uh, just to let you guys know again, my vacation is coming up. I will not be streaming during my vacation, but I will be trying to upload a lot of videos. So this right here is FTL for your Wacky Wednesday. If you want to see the rest of my schedule, all you have to do is click on the Discord in the description if you're watching on YouTube. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys. You guys are great.